we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Oh, so how long did how long did um it take your father to get over there? My dad literally was there like right after it happened. Like when that car sped off, my dad was literally pulling his car, you know, bagging his car in this, you know, his parking spot. Because so he was, was coming to work. It he was coming to work. Okay. Yeah. So so yeah, and so he he basically was coming to work and and when you think about it though, like I say, I just keep you I'm you you hear the stories of them trying to say that you guys you know, pretty much was connected to right. to Dolph's murder. Right. So at the end of the day, it's like, okay, I, I hear what they're saying, but you know, the the thing you wasn't there. Right. But but then, like I said, I seen you on the news. I don't know where how where you where did you do that interview at? Where you? Was it was just, on the it was on the side. It was on the side of the building. Was that the same day? That was the exact same day. So you came over there too, uh, that day. That I came there with my. I was on my way with my mom because my mom wanted to go. She wanted to get over there and see what was going on. I mean, somebody obviously was just killed in a shop. You know, she was she was frantic. You know, she was trying to figure out what was going on. Was anybody else hurt? Because nobody wasn't really telling her anything. All we heard was that somebody was dead in a shop. We didn't know anything else until the second call when we were heading there, and then they told us it was Dolph. You know. Yeah. But uh, by the time we got there, you know, we couldn't. Of course, it's a crime scene, so we weren't there. We can't get over the tape. We can't talk to anybody about it. We just. My mom was just trying to get as close to something as possible because it was her shop. You yeah. Know? Yeah. That's that's tough, man. Like I said, I don't know if that that business come back. You know, for us mm-hmm. at that location, I don't know. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean that, it's been there. How long it's been there? It's twenty two years. Twenty two years. That got to yeah. come back. That's the. That's like this one. It's but like would the, the community? But would the community embrace it after that too? Well, I will say this: they're asking for it to be back. It's a lot of people that want that shop to be opened again. I mean, why wouldn't you guys? You guys are in the center of Castalia. This is. I mean, why wouldn't you come back? And that's something that people see. That's Airways is a busy street, so. To ride down airways and not see Makita's, you know, a lot of people was like, man, that'll, that'll actually hurt, you know, because it's been around for so long. So why get rid of it now? I mean, a lot of people really want, so are you, you know, planning my to reopen back. it? It's up to my dad. Yeah, Raven, I, like I said, I don't, I hate the way that they doing you guys online because, like I said, on there, you can almost paint a picture of you guys being totally connected to you know what i mean yeah the negative yeah. side if you want to look at it the other way you can but yeah. that picture is drawn now and you know it don't just come down you know what yeah. i mean yeah. and then you guys how, how how do you guys move differently now that this has happened we don't move differently we do everything exactly the same we have not changed we get up we go to work we bake cookies um we have cookies in the stores down there in memphis all the grocery stores um they're still kicking you know, I mean, we had a contract that we were actually about to sign before all of this even happened that we literally had to put on hold because all of this happened, you know. So um, you can't we, say you don't move differently because I guarantee you you're more observative of your surroundings. We're more we're observant, but we were always observant. I was always observing my surroundings even before this. I mean, I mean, you that's everywhere. You gotta so is it be just observant. like that down in Memphis? Like no, you, yeah, I mean that's like that, that everywhere. Yeah. You can't just necessarily say. I mean, yeah, I know y'all see Memphis and we're like, damn. Yeah, I've been again? down there. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep saying, oh man, again, oh man. But if you think about it, that's I mean that's just life, man. I mean that's just that's just the way it is. I I'm not, I can't say how it is in Texas. I can't say it's how it is. It's different when you there. grew up in a certain area. Yeah. And you're used to it. That's the same thing some people say about Jamaica. They say in certain areas we hear how y'all do it. You know, people be shooting, killing. Yeah, I've heard a lot. Right, but it's not everywhere. But then okay. when you're born and raised there, you don't think about it as anything. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think about it as, I mean, it's extremely serious. I mean, what's going on in Memphis right now is... It's extremely serious, mm-hmm. and it's hard to watch, you know, because that is my city. And, you know, I weep for my city, you know, all it? the time. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.